I'm Sheila Brummer with Siouxland Public Media News. The National Weather Service is keeping an eye on a winter storm that could impact parts of Siouxland. A winter weather advisory kicks in for north central Nebraska tonight through tomorrow morning with three to six inches of snow and a light glaze of ice in the forecast. Winter storm watch remains in effect Thursday for northwest Iowa, including the Iowa Great Lakes region. Travel could get tricky. The storm watch includes Lyon, Osceola, Dickinson, Sioux, O'Brien, Clay, Cherokee, and Buena Vista counties. Between five to eight inches of snow could fall. The forecast for Sioux City calls for drizzle and snow likely for tomorrow with potentially three inches falling on Thursday for a total of five inches from Wednesday through Thursday night. Prosecutors are filing additional charges against Kingsley's police chief after authorities say he stalked his ex-girlfriends using official police resources. Sula News CBS Fox 44 reports 54-year-old James Don is now facing 19 criminal charges, including 14 felonies. Those additional charges were filed by the Plymouth County attorney ahead of a preliminary hearing in the case scheduled for March 20th. The Sioux City Police Department received City Council approval yesterday to submit an application for a $240,000 Homeland Security grant, which would fund the purchase of an armored rescue vehicle. Police Chief Rex Mueller told the council the vehicle would replace the surplus military truck the department currently uses, but is not bulletproof. And a trio of Northwest Iowa school districts are holding special elections today. West Sioux Schools in Haywarden are seeking just under $15 million to expand and improve elementary school buildings in Ireton and Haywarden. South O'Brien and Paulina wants voters to approve just under $26 million for a number of additions to the junior and senior high school, including facilities for ag education, industrial arts, and science, along with the second gym and community fitness center. Paying for that would cost homeowners an extra $100 a year. And voters in Hinton are being asked to approve a new revenue purpose statement, which details how the district can spend money brought in from a statewide one-cent sales tax. That vote is being held as required by a state law in 2018 that extended the collection of that sales tax until the year 2051. Polls for all three votes will be open until 8 o'clock tonight. Mid-American Energy is going green with its newest fleet of vehicles. The company rolled out three all-electric bucket trucks this morning in an effort to electrify. The trucks can drive up to 135 miles on a full charge and can be found in Sioux City plus Des Moines and the Quad Cities. The all-electric trucks added the company's fleet of 100 vehicles that are partially or totally electrified. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Sheila Brummer.